This was pianist Park Chung Hwa performing Arirang from his 2015 album Nunaya. Park Chung Hwa is our special guest for today, and I think we still have time for a little more talk, and that's good because there is apparently a lot to talk. <laughs> when I look into this album, there's plenty of amazing music, but not just it's not just that it's amazing, it shows so much depth and thought behind, and maybe you'd just like to elaborate a little more on those thoughts. Yeah. Well, um, I could talk about uh, the recording session, yes. how it was uh, different from other recording sessions. Was it recorded in Korea? Yes, it was recorded mm. in Korea. Um, you know, we didn't... Uh, normally, we uh, use... The pianists use uh, D-size piano, the grand... Uh, Stein, usually Steinway's uh, uh, concert size piano. But uh, for this project, uh, we opted for Bezendorfer. Mm. Uh, Austrian piano. Yes, Austrian brand. Piano. Very, very nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they almost went bankrupt, but anyway. <laughs> a bit smaller than D. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I was uh, amazed by the, the beauty of the tone. Was it the, the Imperial present offer? No, 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 no. It was a smaller one. Oh, the the much one smaller, smaller than okay. Concert Grant. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. About 230 mm. centimeters. And. Uh, you know, the, from the choice of piano, it, it was different. Uh, we paid uh, attention to the tones and, and mm -hmm. the sound of uh, the instrument, and also the producer. And we uh, interviewed uh, many of them, and and we chose and of, he also cho he chose us. But uh, we got to work together with uh, producer Mr. Huang Byungjun, mm -hmm. who possesses a very very sensitive ear, mm -hmm. and you know we would talk about. Uh, these things uh, about uh, Dongyo, mm -hmm. Korean children's songs, to uh, music in general, to sound in general, to and he we we talked for hours and hours, and he understood what I was saying, mm -hmm. and uh, it was very interesting. Now I have process. a question. I have a question too. Um, you know, I'm from Austria, so I grew up not really next to the Bösendorfer factory, but yes. uh, I we had a few excursions there when I was a student and. Uh, the officials from the company always would tell us that the difference between their biggest competitors, Steinway and Sons, <laughs> and Bösendorfer would be the tone. Not so much the mechanics, which I personally believe is also a factor, mm. but the tone, and they were claiming the tone of a Bösendorfer would be much, um, not softer, but in a way less brilliant yes. and darker. And intimate. Yes. yes. And then the Steinway, was that part of your decision to go for Bösendorfer? Uh, yes. Mm. The... the tone fitted uh, these melodies especially yes. very well and uh, when it combined with harmonies how the, how it brings out the overtones it, it was just perfect for, mm. for these works so mm. a beautiful piano Bezendorf really yes well yeah. some of them are definitely very beautiful mm. and I personally find I, as much as I, I love Steinway pianos but sometimes they are just a tattoo too sharp yes. and too brilliant and certainly this wouldn't have helped a collection like this yes. one and the Bezendorfer has this uh, uh, ability to just carry the melodies mm. for the long long time. phrases yes, long phrases yes, yes. that I just fell in love with very good yes. well I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here and can explain all yeah. this so much in depth to not just me but to our listeners any closing thought maybe that you would like to share? Uh, uh, it's, it's more announcement. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, a concert <laughs> announcement. Yes, yes. and I, I saw it before. Yes. Sorry for not, not uh, keeping this in mind. I can do it for you then. <laughs> There's a nationwide tour, right? Yes. Of this concert uh, featuring the children's songs. And it begins at the LG Arts Center on the 20th of September. Mm -hmm. So in just about three weeks. And then it moves on to other cities such as Yasu. Jinpo, Jeju, and Daejeon, and maybe some others as well. Uh, how long is it going to take, that tour? It will be uh, around two weeks and a half. Hmm. Yeah. Permanently, just being on tour and, and doing those concerts? or No, I'll, I'll go back and back forth. And yes. You've got to teach at Seoul National. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, as well. I see. Very exciting. Well, I, I very much look forward to the first concert and, yes. well... I'm sure those living in the in the cities I just mentioned will be looking forward to the other concerts. Best of luck on that. And uh, how about we just listen into one more song? 
the second from your album. And uh, what is it, that second song? Maybe just a very, very brief introduction. Kwasuan Kil? Yes. yes. Um, this song, it's uh, very special for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will just explain my personal experience with this song. Uh, when I was uh, uh, little, my mm-hmm. father, he used to love playing on the guitar and sing and to sing um, and I remember him singing this mm. so it's a true childhood memory yes and, and when I you know when I came back to Korea uh, you know I, I thought that I do not know anything about Korea music mm. uh, or, or so I, I don't know any Korean songs uh, when I came back to Korea I thought that I do not know any Korean songs but mm. when I heard this music something in me popped and my memories came back came back. So. that's a, a wonderful closing statement well uh, thank you so much so very much for being with us today it thank was you for a having great me pleasure and i very much hope to see you again soon and uh, to our listeners this was it for today this was our special interview with professor Park Chung-hwa. and also this was our classical collection for this Sunday. Have a great Sunday and a great week after, and I'll see everyone back on TBS EFM next weekend. Let's enjoy together one more song from the album Nunaya, the 2015 album. It's called Kwasuan Kil, and the performer is once again Pak Chunghua. To everyone, and let's enjoy listening to this beautiful music.